So, mix is practically ready. We're giving it a quick minute because uh, the motor wants to blow up. Right, pull it to me and then just tip it back slightly. Right, let me just get you inside of it. Okay. Okay, we can hold it. It always came out that easy. It's like three inches here. I'm going to put it up there. Ah! Oh, it's walking to the bridge. Um, I would say good morning, but yeah, we're back in a merry lousy morning. Yes. <laughs> As we crossed the Bolton doors, it started raining. Yes, so we're back in a very rainy Bolton, but um, today is the final stretch day. If you remember, we have got the glass pad stone to put in, those two lintels to put in, and this. Uh, we're going to get the mix started now because thankfully we did all this on day one, so that's ready. Um, and we managed to get this out, as you saw, which, despite all its trouble throughout the whole job, came out quite easily. Yeah. So... Just got to chop it up after. Yeah, we're going to give that a big of a chop up. A big of a chop up, a bit of a chop up. I think just enough, you know. Yeah. Just on top of the um, I'll show you in there a bit later as well. The customers took out the ceiling and... <laughs> there's how full the skip is now, after they've uh, finished off the ceiling. There was, they said there was all kinds, there was six buckets worth of tiles, sawdust, it was just awful. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, so it's a good job they did that because it's very unsafe from uh, all that crap you can see in there. But, on to today. Today we're going to get this done as quick as we can, especially because the Robbies are coming today and they want to get that window in, so we're against the clock. It's threatening rain all day, so... We're gonna just soldier through and do what we can. Do a nice stiff mix. Get this done. So I'll get you set up and you get this. So, mix is practically ready. We're giving it a quick minute because uh, the motor wants to blow up. But we've traced through and the way it's gonna work is it's either going to be one small three quarter or one of the grinder cuts. Grinder cuts, yeah. So we're going to um, put two bigger three quarters on each side, so the bond works a lot better then. Otherwise, it'd be one like very small three quarter right in the middle. So that's the better alternative. And the lintel, thank God, fits in. We're just going to put a bed under it, and then that way that's tight on and nothing can get under it. And obviously, you know, you know the song and dance. Get the brickwork up, get the cavity tray in, tire wires, which are. Cavity tray has got to go a course higher on this one. The reason being, we've only got one course to damp on the front. It should be two courses. Mm. Just the way the garage is done. So we put an air vent in that bottom course. It's not doing. It's doing nothing. Not there. doing anything. Because of the uh, upstand. So we're going to put it on top of the damp course, and then put in on the block work two holes in the, in the block work underneath damp course so it can vent that way. And so, because these bricks are quite fragile, Dad, we've got a measurement for these ones, roughly 170, so Dad is going to get them cut with 
a grinder, still saw, what have you. So we're gonna have some neater cuts and we're not wasting bricks then either, so. I was saying, I don't know where to do the cutting. Yeah. Without covering the van or the cars in dust. What about, um, there? That's just the other side of the hedge, isn't it? Hmm? The car's just the other side of the hedge. Oh. Well, we'll figure something out. We'll find a way, that's how we do it. So, anyway, enough talking. I'll get you set up on time lapse so you can watch uh, the action happen.
Yes. Fine, thank you. No, thank you. Bye. BS call. Oh, well, good news though. Brickwork's done. The uh, last course with the help of uh, good old Richard's Fitz Bricks. Uh, yeah, but that's the brickwork done. So it's just going to be one more course to block about. There's where we're up to. Just so we can, uh, Rob, we can get that rendering on there. And yes, tire wires are in. Before you say anything. But so we're just going to get them blocks in. Then I'll I'll hop in there, get that block work done, and Dad can uh, get them. Holes finished up. Very lucky because the forecast is really bad for today. Yeah, we just need to like maybe put some boards over it or something, cover it up uh, while it dries. Yeah, because these things are like bloody engineering bricks. They do not take water well, as you can see. Some parts are trying to weep. So, oh, and uh, before you say anything, as well, there's our weep vents. We've got we went for the clear ones this time, so they blend in. If you can see them when we're done. We've not done our job right. <laughs> but there you go, so there's a little update, we'll uh, catch you catch you in the next one.
Well, that was a long day. It was. If but, you was how you think you're not going to be? Yeah, but finito. Dad's uh, just doing a bit of the rinse up now, finalising, and I'll give you a quick showdown of what's what's been going on. So there's the brickwork all jointed up. We've all, we've flushed the blockwork because it's going to be rendered that, that part anyway. And um, you see the size of them beds. Uh, Dad's haunched the bottom, so it's a bit of a bit more cleaner looking. And obviously, just a reminder, you've got the wheat vents there for your cavity tray, just above the air brick. Tree goes in, tire wires are in, screw ties are in each side of the blocks. So speaking of that, I'll take you over to the other side now. So there you go, there's my handiwork. Ran out of commons obviously because uh, Dad pinched them up there, but that's all done, all nice and leveled up and obviously screw ties are in course one and course three, so nice and secured. And there's left holes for the air vents as well. Uh, that's uh, Robbie Strong, the same with him. And there's the other part of today, getting them lintels in, which was all Dad. So they're in nice and... Uh, they're in. <laughs> And then the last part was also getting the final pad stones in. So there you have it. That is one very big job finished, which was a, it was a roller coaster of a job the whole way. And it's ups and downs, but it's finally done and didn't look too bad. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, or you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap the bell so you're notified whenever we upload so you can see more stuff like this or like this this has been Brickling with Steve and Alex with a giant few holes in the wall and we'll see you in the next video